let's talk about the future of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Today we're going to take a look at the intermediate and long-term future of the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise after the firing of James Gunn last week during Comic-Con. What does this mean for the future of the franchise, and how will Kevin Feige potentially try to steer the ship through this wave of fan anger and backlash? First, let's see what got us to this point. While a typical year, San Diego Comic Con is where Disney and Marvel Studios like to generate positive hype and fan goodwill, but this year things went in a different direction. Disney kicked off this year's San Diego Comic Con with a bang but not the kind us fans wanted. Much to the shock of the entire fan community, Disney spokesman Alan Hoare announced that Disney was terminating James Gunn from all duties. The official statement read, The offensive attitudes and statements discovered on James's Twitter feed are indefensible and inconsistent with our studio's values, and we have severed our business relationship with him. Now to me, the whole situation is bizarre. Disney must have known about the tweets before he started work on Guardians of the Galaxy. Not to mention, he actually made a formal apology for these tweets way back in 2012. To me, this firing definitely feels like an overreaction which could very well backfire on the studio in a big way. And it's all starting to manifest online already. Fans are seriously cheesed off. Hundreds of thousands of people have signed a petition demanding that Disney rehire the filmmaker, and everyone from Dave Bautista to Jim Starling to Michael Roker have made it clear they are not happy with this happened to their friend James Gunn. The possible ramifications of tweets like these being used against someone years later is obviously worrying. Obviously this whole entire thing is just bigger than the Guardians or the MCU. James Gunn's firing is going to hurt both Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and the upcoming Marvel Cosmic Universe, something Gunn was supposed to take charge of following the release of Volume 3. What happens now? There are a couple things that could happen. Let's dig in for a second. Well the script is complete, so should Disney just go ahead and hire a new director and move forward? I have no idea how Feige would capture guns lightning in a bottle that is so clearly part of this franchise. From the re-imaging of the characters to the soundtrack, I personally can't see replacing that magical X factor that he clearly brought to the screen. I mean, who's going to do the Volume 3 song list? They may very well have to take the franchise in a very different direction with a completely new director, and that could generate even more negative fan backlash. It is possible that Disney will cave. They could just rehire James Gunn and move on quietly. This is not very likely. After the Roseanne Barr scandal, it definitely feels like Disney has completely overreacted to how they handled the Gunn dismissal, especially after those tweets that came back from back in 2012 when they hired Gunn to direct the movie, and he actually apologized at that time. Given the backlash to their decision and the support for Gunn, it is possible the studio could reverse its direction. One of the big problems is that this total mess makes it almost impossible for Gunn to do any kind of promotion of the movie without this sidetracking any questions from the press. He can't refuse the questions, he can avoid the questions, but this topic will bog down every move he has for quite a long time. Ever since Gunn was fired, there has been one name that has repeatedly come up of someone who could potentially take charge of the franchise, and that's Thor Ragnarok's helmer, Taika Waititi. There's no doubt he would be a good fit for it, and after seeing Thor and the Guardians interact in the Avengers, a mashup is even possible. Whether or not Watiti would even want the job is another matter. He has a personal relationship with Gunn and that probably will impact his decision greatly. It also may not be the movie that Guardians fans want and would be vastly different than what Gunn already had planned, but the potential box office for Thor with the Guardians could help moviegoers kind of get over the hump of this scandal surrounding Volume 3. Personally, I'm not too keen seeing Thor join the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm much more interested in like a new Asgard storyline working out for him and the Guardians completing the trilogy as Gunn has laid out. It is possible to put the Guardians of the Galaxy on the shelf after Avengers 4, and this might be the best option. These characters are well established, and the Russos handled them fairly well in keeping in mind that Gunn had his hand in the mix the whole time. Work on the upcoming sequel was expected to begin this fall, and shooting to begin as soon as next January so they can meet that rumored 2020 release date. Now it seems like the project doesn't have a director, and as we will talk about shortly, a potential revolt from its actors. Either way, reshoots may be required if there's already something in there which ties it into Gunn's upcoming sequel, so who knows. Since all this has transpired, there has been quite a reaction from the cast. Pratt and Saldana have yet to release statements regarding Gunn's firing beyond some vague remarks on Twitter. Michael Rooker was so angry he actually removed himself from Twitter altogether, and now Dave Bautista, he has not shied away from expressing his anger at all. 
Now there's no doubt he's under contract for Volume 3, but he could still refuse to star in that or ask for a role to be made much smaller because he doesn't want to work with another director. And there's also his brother, who's obviously supporting him, has made multiple tweets and reminding all of us fans that we are a group. I think several cast members, Batista, Rooker, and Gunn, who are most likely going to turn down the chance to star in a Guardians movie without Gunn at the helm, especially if, since the filmmaker is so tight to all these guys, and particularly in the case of Batista, gave him his big break in Hollywood. They're like family. At the end of the day, money talks. I wouldn't be surprised if all these actors have already burned up Kevin Feige's email, letting him know how their feelings really are. There's so much negativity surrounding the movie following Gunn's firing, it's hard to imagine any news of it being embraced by fans right now. Do you guys remember when Edgar Wright was fired from Ant-Man and the backlash there? Poor Peyton Reed received a massive backlash from fans and all of their frustrations was dumped right into his lap. This could very well impact Marvel Studios and Disney's decision making process moving forward. The negativity surrounding things like Solo and Justice League have proved that behind the scenes drama can have a massive impact on the box office as both fans and regular moviegoers will turn on a film if they know it may not be what it's all cracked up to be. Some of the biggest news not many are talking about is that James Gunn was supposed to take charge of the cosmic side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe following the release of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. He was supposed to develop spin-offs and new movies set in outer space and revolving around characters like the OG Guardians and the Nova Corps. It would seem that obviously he's not going to do that and these plans could very well be put on hold as who else can Marvel trust to take the role. It seems like an even bigger tragedy seeing as the Fox properties are now returning to Marvel proper. While Kevin Feige obviously would be heavily involved, he has to have understood that Gunn was the one who was best suited to expand the universe to Guardians Call Home, and bringing in an outsider to do that kind of work might not work. As a result, the plans for the Marvel Cosmic Universe could very well be put on hold, as the studio could instead refocus its efforts on telling stories that are very Earth-grounded. Keeping in mind, they just got the X-Men back, which could fill a huge void if the Guardians were to be put on the shelf. So what do you guys think? I'm trying not to inject too much of my opinion here, but I have to say, this is highly disappointing. I'm not going to defend Gunn's tweets, some of them are really bad, but Disney seems to have been played here. Gunn's involvement in politics is what provoked this rehash of old information and Disney's response. I really don't understand how this is not a violation of his contract since Disney already knew about the tweet. So as always, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What's the future of the franchise? Who do you think could helm it up? And where do we go from here? If you like this video, make sure you click like below. Plus subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.